Hey guys, Rebs of 411SB here, and I'm here for another texture pack update, because I noticed I hadn't worked on my texture pack in weeks, and I decided I should just release what I already have. Uh, this is going to be a combination of the Snapshot 12W39A? Yeah, I think it's 12W39A. It's, it's the one where they added, uh, I don't know, I can't remember what they added. What did they add? I saw it earlier. What was it? It has the dyed armors. Uh, I think it's the one where they just added the pumpkin pie. They Oh yeah, they just added the bats, the wizards, and the new sounds. And uh, the new lighting engine. New lighting engine was the same thing. was the new thing in this one. Uh, the new lighting engine they're working on. But uh, there's a couple of things I added on for uh, other reasons. This is going to be 12W39A. is going to be down there. Uh, this will include nested into it. It will have... Uh, the connected textures, which is something new. So I got a nice big huge glass pane and I forgot to set up... What? It's not a decorations? Where the hell is my... Where the hell is the, uh, the, the, the bookshelf? Where the hell is the... Final search of the book. There. Found it. And then you can connect these things kind of neatly to... I'm failing here. So you can connect them so they don't have a border if you put them side by side. And there you go. That's sort of what that was for. So yeah, that's, so we got one big huge pane of glass instead. And that goes along with my new uh, window texture which I made, which is that. I basically made this design just because this looked horrible with just the blank border which I had before. So like having a huge pane of glass with a single line border all around it just looked horrible. It was hilarious. So, yeah, now we got this thing working out here. Um, in addition to that, we got uh, the mounted bacon. I figured it was kind of neat to have the bacon. Uh, I got the beacon over there. This guy was causing me problems, so I sort of trapped him in the new cobble fencing. Yeah, so. Uh, I got the new heads. Uh, the Steve head is there. Got the Stormtrooper head. The withered Stormtrooper head, which I tried to find... But every time I went into the nether, my computer had lagged to hell and I couldn't move. I barely made it out of there alive. Moving on, Wampa Head. Oh man, I forgot to get the Wampa Zombie. Uh, uh, okay, let's try spawn. Let's try getting that working. They have that new zombie thing, the villager zombie. I haven't actually looked at it yet. I made a design for it. Uh, which one's a zombie here? Oh, Zombo. Zombo. There we go. So yeah, we got a priest, dude. Go, run, zombie, run! Oh, come on, nope. You are not getting away, sir. There. <laughs> We're literally watching a massacre occur. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, god damn, it went near the... Dude. There. Ah! No, I don't want to trade with him. I don't want... What was he... What was he giving me? Bookshelves? Was that what he was giving me? Let's see. Ah, uh, that... Yeah, he was giving me a bookshelf for three emeralds? That's a ripoff. No, you deserve to die now, sir. Get the hell back here! <laughs> Just... No. God damn it. Did I get him? I got him. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, wait, some of these ones spawn as normal. Yeah, they, oh, right, some of these ones spawn. Right. Forgot that some of them will spawn legitimately like that. <laughs> I love this smile. <laughs> I was laughing when I made the texture. It was absolutely hilarious to me. Oh, okay, that's hilarious. Okay, that's good. Good times, good times. So then got the Jawa head. So yeah, I haven't actually seen this guy in game yet, just because my nether is lagging the hell out for me and I just couldn't find it. Got the new pots, which I put the flower and mushrooms and the cactus in. Yay, fun times. I made a new enchantment table thingy. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, I got the ender chest, yada yada yada. Bacon, I already went through that. Uh, the beacon. The beacon thingamajigger. Uh... Yeah, I kind of half-assed the GUI and didn't make the buttons, because mainly I just didn't know what the actual GUI was, and I just ran with what I thought it was. And I came out with it, it came out with this, so I was happy with this, and so I'm going to leave it as is for now. 
and it'll probably be completed in a future update, but as I said, I'm kind of not really updating that much right now, which is why I'm kind of releasing. Uh, this is the main thing that delayed it at first. I was ready for a release, and then I decided I need to do this because I've been delaying it. I made a new water and lava texture. Uh, they are high-res ones, only usable with the high-res pack, with a high-res thing. You Just like my entire pack, you still need a, de a high-def uh, HD patcher for this. So yeah, the lava flowing is a little glitchy in the transition. I think I screwed it up somewhere, but I'm too lazy to fix it. And the standing still stuff sort of flows back and forth for the water. I'm sorry about the bubbles going around, but the beacon is sort of... You know, I can punch the beacon out. Go away, beacon! There we go. And now it should go away in two, one... Okay, now it should be gone. Cool. There we go. So you can see it's sort of flowing back and forth mesmerizingly. And then we got this sort of twitchy lava there. That was the main main changes with this. But the, the addition to this, um, instead of just having uh, the... Uh, all right, I wanted to show off. Blam! Uh, the dyed armors. I actually went and actually did the stuff properly. This is actually what took me the longest in this little setup thingy. It was actually setting it up so I could actually use different colored armors. I still make them look kind of cool. To actually get the default armor, which we, I had before, you have to use the bone meal to make it work and look good. But, uh, yeah, it's still... I am blending with him. Uh... Yeah, so it looks kind. It looks kind of cool. I kept the blue border and the uh, gold, obviously, to go along with it. Looks pretty cool. I like it. The t the default leather looks horrible, but whatever. Nope. So yeah, that's the default which you get. But then you can dye it. If you put bone meal on it, you'll get the default coloring, which existed before. So uh, yeah. Uh, the, there we go. So yeah, you'll get this default stuff back when you put use bone meal on the dies, or uh, on the armor. So yeah. Uh, sheep. Uh, was there anything else besides Mr. Enderman running around? Um, by uh, in here, I don't think so. That's the main changes for vanilla snapshot. Uh, but uh, in addition to this, I am actually using, giving out, and uh, apparently that's a. There we go. Tech it. I'm in tech it now. Woo! So in the down below, you'll find a, a link for uh, the snapshot one, which will work with uh, 1.3.2 as well. Uh, basically, 1.3.2 and the latest snapshot, which I mentioned as, the, as of recording this. And then there's also one for uh, default Minecraft. Both of them will in... Crap, crap. He's going to... This is, this is my... What are, I'm in my, a tech it server right now. I'm infiltrating... Oh, uh, one of the other guy's houses that plays on here. Is it this one? Nope. It's that one. Ah, got it. Fixed it. None the wiser. <laughs> um, yeah. Then you'll find one for the tech it pack. Both of them will include the elemental creepers in, in them, just because I figure it's easier because it's actually pretty small files. So both of them will have elemental creepers inside of them no matter what. Even though both the worlds I was just in, both the files don't have elemental creepers, whatever. So yeah, so you, this is basically, he made, he, uh, one of the guys, Taktora in my server, actually made an entire uh, museum of every block, and he got every legitimate block legitimately. Uh, I'm not sure if some of these he could get legitimately, but he went out and found, made all of them, uh, all the legitimate ones he could, so all the glass panes, everything he made, uh, or, ob or obtained, because I, I gave him a silk... Pick, uh, silk touch pick and you use that uh so yeah they got the dark matter steel yada 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 uh that's all default actually uh, they got the nether ores i made those uh these are the default ores uh uranium emerald sapphire ruby and their blocks the tin the bronze block the copper lapis lazuli all of them uh bookshelves are still in there the reinforced glass i made just because i was actually using that at one point uh the basalt it looks kind of cool. I like it. It's basically cobblestone and stone and stone brick re and darkened is basically what it is. Uh, does he have marble? Did he forget marble? Did he forget the marble? 
<laughs> I can laugh at him now. He forgot the marble. <laughs> oh well. Uh, I'll grab marble. Uh, oh. Uh, no. Uh, oh, I'm in creative mode. This is this is awkward because it's not full screen for me. I'm not used to this. Uh, let's just get out of creative mode. I'm safe in here. Uh, oh no, all my stuff that I've been working on. No, no. Uh, that's what I want. And that's what I want. Yeah, that'll be enough. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Stairs! Get away. So yeah, that's the marble. Same sort of deal. Uh, I'm not in creative mode anymore. There we go. Uh, I made a new cobweb texture. I think it looks kind of cool. Neat. And still an obsidian and snow ice. I'm trying to think of what else I made here. Uh, construction foam has been done. I did it mistakenly thinking I was doing the lights. Uh, but it turned out it was construction foam. Cool story. Moving on. <laughs> so yeah, that's all done, including all the coloring for it. Oh, uh, the wool textures and all the lights have been redone. This, uh, oh yeah, those are those are new lights. Uh, yes, he did set up a light switch. Where's that the marble? Oh, there is marble. Damn it, I can't laugh at him. No! I'm blind. Whatever. And downstairs, what do we have down here? We got, uh, oh, my pipes. I redid some of the pipes. Uh, the, some of the teleport pipes are still default, but uh, all the basic pipes are have been changed. That's not changed. Those two are. Uh, those ones are... It's basically whichever one looks rounder. This is the ones I did. So those ones are ones I did. Uh, what else was there? Uh, the tank. I recolored it blue because I thought it looked cooler. Uh, did those. The refinery is different. I made, I just didn't want them red. Uh, the new engines I did. Uh, dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. uh, let's just grab one of these and I'll go like this on the... And then we will... Wait, what? Oh, come on. Why isn't the redstone engine lighting when I do that? That should be working! Why don't you work? Whatever. <clears throat> um, all the GUIs for the chests have been done. Uh, the huge-ass chests that barely fit on the screen. Energy condenser's been redone. Um, the collectors have all been done. Apparently he's been using that one, and this one's been loaded up. I did these as well. There we go. But some, some of the GUIs are done. Some of them aren't. Uh, alloy furnace is good. Induction furnace isn't. That'll be for sure. Electric furnace. So yeah, some of these aren't done yet, but some of them are. I got a little fancy and did some coloring, because, uh, where is his, uh, where is the alchemical stuff? Did he actually do any of the equivalent exchange stuff? He's been dabbling into it a lot. So I haven't really, I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if some of that stuff isn't in here. Apparently, or maybe I just missed it. Uh, the alarms. I don't I haven't really dealt with a lot of the blocks or anything like that down here for the equivalent exchange. Or in industrial craft. Uh, the arrays, the crafting table, mark, whatever's. Charging table, sorry. Uh, computers. So, okay, apparently he doesn't have any equivalent exchange stuff in here. I know he has the stuff over here, though, somewhere. Aha! Found it. There we go. So, yeah, I got a little fancy coloring-wise. <laughs> and I decided to go a little bit further than that with the coloring and such, so. Um... Yeah, I think... I think that's about it. Oh yeah, and then the the energy collectors are, and his turtles, right? Yeah. So yeah, I kind of broke into his house. Uh, so what do you saw? How much get home? Hey, there we go. Oh, it's much less laggy over here. Actually, that's kind of weird considering how much crap I actually have around here. Um, yeah. So this is kind of some of the stuff that's in action already. Uh, what else do we have here? I didn't even touch this one, did I? Oh, Blast Furnace is good, because I think that's the same as a furnace. Coke oven. Uh, yeah, that sort of stuff. So the alloy furnaces are done. Uh, rolling machine's actually been done, that one. I don't know. I just got a lot of stuff here that's done. Uh, cats. Yay. When was the last time I actually showed my house? I don't know. Yoink. Um... Yeah, I don't know. That's basically it for the texture pack. Now I'm just kind of showing off my house <laughs> in this world. This is my place, so... Yeah, that's kind of been working out. 
So is that. I want to go look at something. Uh, okay, this server, I haven't really touched it since Borderlands 2 came out. But it's been running. And I have energy co I have energy collection flowers going right now. And I have no idea. I'm betting they're all full. I'm betting all of these are full of material. Oh my god, they're not full yet. Holy crap, but all of them will be that full. Uh, I thought I set up engines down. Oh, there's some running engines. There we go. Ha! Ah, there we go. So, yeah. so yeah, I made a new engine texture. That's kind of what it looks like. Looks kind of cool in my opinion. I like it. it. Looks neat. Goes with the rest of the stuff that I've been working on. Uh, the red alloy. And people are very confused as to what's going on. That's my solar panel factory right there. That is entirely made so that if I flip that switch right there, it starts making solar panels. Ha! Seriously, it's default. And then this is my elevator. It's an actual working, very jittery elevator. That I can call from any floor, because the buttons just activate the up and down. I have to push them multiple times to reach multiple floors. But it reaches the basement, which is kind of cool. That's kind of fun. And then there is my giant X, which I made shaded and everything. Looks cool. And then here's my latest project, which I kind of just stopped working on because I got stupidly annoyed and bored with it. Um, this is supposed to be a... Ra Actually, it does somewhat work here. Uh, some of it works. It's just I didn't work on it completely. And... Come on. But I pushed the wrong button again. I pushed the wrong button again. I uh, gotta wait a few seconds for it to go through. Please still have enough energy to do it. Ascend! I had to slow it down a lot because it kept missing uh, signals. So it, it only raises a block every like two seconds and it lags like hell whatever it does. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what I've been working on. I wanted to make an entire wall around the castle that did it. And I've been using the world, the wand thing to do it, but whatever. The uh, the world edit wand tool, the wooden axe tool. We added the plugin for that. Yeah, and that's sort of what's been working on there. But yeah, that's basically what's been going on in my off time fooling around with tech it, which we all got kind of bored with when Borderlands 2 came out. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Um... Yeah, besides that, I think that's about it for me showing off my house. Uh, and the little tower over here for some uh, industrial craft and such. That's about it. Um, for those wondering, this thing started off as mostly legit. Then I just got to the point where our, I had those all that red matter, and I was just building crap, and I decided I don't want to go around, keep running back and forth for materials and such, so I just started using creative mode, because I got bored with it. I could do this all legitimately, but I just got... I didn't want to put in all the extra time. I just wanted to build stuff. Anyways, that is about it. Have a good one, guys.